To change the media in a T75 flask, begin by placing the appropriate media in the warm water bath at 37 degrees Celsius. This should take about 5 to 10 minutes. Prepare the biosafety cabinet in the same way as described in the changing media tutorial, being sure to remember all aspects of proper sterile technique. Take out the T75 flask from the incubator and place it inside the hood. Take out a bottle of sterile PBS and spray it with isopropyl alcohol before placing it inside the hood. You will also need three 10 mil pipettes, a 15 mil conical tube, a 1000 microliter pipetter, the bottle of warm media, and the tube of trypsin. Spray all items and place inside the hood. Aspirate the media in the flask using a 10 mil pipette. And discard into the waste beaker. Change the pipette so that you are using a clean pipette to rinse the flask with PBS. Aspirate 10 mils of the PBS and put it into the flask. If the pipette tip has not touched anything, you can place it inside the hood like so. This will help you save materials, but ultimately, sterility is more important. If the pipette tip has touched anything aside from the PBS, discard it and get a new one. After letting the PBS sit in the flask for a minute or two, swirl it around to make sure the entire flask is covered. Then, aspirate the PBS and discard it into the waste beaker. Take the 1000 microliter pipette and adjust it to the desired volume of 1000 microliters. Carefully aspirate 1000 microliters of trypsin and put it into the flask. Swirl the trypsin to completely cover the flask. This requires rocking the flask like so. After all of the cells have been covered with trypsin, remove the trypsin from the flask with a pipetter and discard in the waste beaker. Now, place the flask inside the incubator for five minutes. After five minutes, take out the flask. Add 10 milliliters of media to the flask, spraying the inside surface of the flask to disperse the cells. Pipette the media up and down and continue to spray the surface of the flask a few times to ensure that all cells have been dispersed. The media should turn cloudy. This is normal. Aspirate all 10 milliliters of the media containing the dispersed cells and place it in a 15 milliliter conical tube. From this point, you can passage these cells into another flask, count the cells using a hemocytometer, seed an experiment, or cryogenically freeze them down for later use.